Kngai, also known as Tsingai, formerly known in English as Kokona, is a province of the People's Republic of China located in the northwest of the country. As one of the largest province-level administrative divisions of China by area, the province is ranked fourth largest in size, but has the third smallest population. Located mostly on the Kangai Tibet Plateau, the province has long been a melting pot for a number of ethnic groups including the Han, Tibetans, Hui, Tu, Mongols, and sailors. Kangai borders Gansu on the northeast, Xinjiang on the northwest, Sichuan in the southeast, and the Tibet Autonomous Region in the southwest. Kangai Province was established in 1928 under the Republic of China period during which it was ruled by Chinese Muslim warlords known as the Ma Clique. The Chinese name, Kangai is named after Kangai Lake, the largest lake in China. The province was known formerly as Kokona in English, derived from the Oirat name for Kangai Lake. History During China's Bronze Age, Kangai was home to the Kaiyang people who traditionally made a living in agriculture and husbandry the Kaiyu culture. The eastern part of the area of Qinghai was under the control of the Han dynasty about 2000 years ago. It was a battleground during the Tang and subsequent Chinese dynasties when they fought against successive Tibetan tribes. In the middle of 3rd century CE, nomadic people related to the Mongolic Xianbu migrated to pasture lands around Kogonur and established Tuyul Han Kingdom. Since the 7th century, Tuyul Han Kingdom was attacked by both the Tibetan Empire and Tang Dynasty as both of them sought control over trade routes. Military conflicts severely weakened the kingdom and it was incorporated into the Tibetan Empire. After the disintegration of the Tibetan Empire, small local factions emerged, some under the titular authority of China. During the Yuan Dynasty's administrative rule of Tibet, the region comprising the headwaters of the Yellow and Yangtze rivers, what modern Tibetan nationalists call Amdo was apportioned to different administrative divisions than Tibet proper. Most of Kangai was once also a short time under the control of early Ming dynasty, but later gradually lost to the Koshat Mongols. The Zunhua Sailor Autonomous County is where most sailor people live in Kangai. The sailors migrated to Kangai from Samarkand in 1370. The chief of the four upper clans around this time was Han Pao Yuan and Ming granted him office of centurion, it was at this time the people of his four clans took Han as their surname. The other chief Han Shan Pa of the four lower sailor clans got the same office from Ming, and his clans were the ones who took Ma as their surname. From 1640 to 1724, a big part of the area that is now Kangai was under Koshuk Mongol control but in that year it was conquered by the armies of the Qing dynasty. It was during the 1720s when Xining Prefecture was established and its borders were roughly those of modern Kangai province. Xining, the capital of modern Kangai province was built in this period as the administrative center. During the rule of the Qing dynasty, the governor was a viceroy of the Qing emperor, but the local ethnic groups enjoyed much autonomy. Many chiefs retained their traditional authority, participating in local administrations. The Dungan Revolt devastated the Hui Muslim population of Xiangxi, shifting the Hui center of population to Gansu and Kungai. Another Dungan Revolt broke out in Kungai in 1895 when various Muslim ethnic groups in Kungai and Gansu rebelled against the Qing. Following the overthrow of the Qing dynasty in 1911, the region came under Chinese Muslim warlord Ma Qi control until the northern expedition by the Republic of China consolidated central control in 1928. In Julia Euro August 1912, General Ma Fuyang was acting chief executive officer of Kokona. In 1928, Kangai province was created. Previously, it was part of Gansu, as the Tibetan frontier district. The Muslim warlord and General Ma Qi became military governor of Kangai, followed by his brother Ma Lin and then Ma Qi's son Ma Bufang. In 1932 Tibet invaded Kangai, attempting to capture southern parts of Kangai province, following contention in Yashu, Kangai over a monastery in 1932. The army of Ma Bufangs defeated the Tibetan armies. Governor of Kangai Ma Bufang was described as a socialist by American journalist John Roderick and friendly compared to the other Ma clique warlords. Ma Bufang was reported to be good-humored and jovial in contrast to the brutal reign of Ma Hongkui. 
most of eastern China was ravaged by the Second Sino-Japanese War and the Chinese Civil War, by contrast, Qinghai was relatively untouched. Ma Bufang increased the prominence of the Huian sailor people in Qinghai's politics by heavily recruiting to his army from the counties in which those ethnic groups predominated. General Ma started a state-run and controlled industrialization project, directly creating educational, medical, agricultural, and sanitation projects, run or assisted by the state. The state provided money for food and uniforms in all schools, state-run or private. Roads and a theater were constructed. The state controlled all the press, no freedom was allowed for independent journalists. As the 1949 Chinese Revolution approached Kangai, Ma Bufang abandoned his post and flew to Hong Kong, traveling abroad but never returning to China. On January 1, 1950, the Kangai Province People's Government was declared, owing its allegiance to the New People's Republic of China. Aside from some minor adjustments to suit the geography, the PRC maintained the province's territorial integrity. Resistance to communist rule continued in the form of the Huis Kuomintang Islamic insurgency, spreading past traditionally Hui areas to the ethnic Tibetan south. Although the Hui comprised 15.6% of Kangai's population in 1949, making the province the second largest concentration of Hui after Ningxia, the state denied the Hui ethnic autonomous townships and counties that their numbers warranted under Chinese law until the 1980s. Geography Kangai is located on the northeastern part of the Tibetan Plateau. The Yellow River originates in southern part of the province, while the Yangtze and Mekong have their sources in the southwestern part. Kangai is separated by the Ryu Mountain into pastoral and agricultural zones in the west and east. The average elevation of Kangai is over 3,000 meters above sea level. Mountain ranges include the Tangula Mountains and Kunlun Mountains with the highest point being Bukay de Ban Feng at 6,860 meters. Due to the high altitude, Kangai has quite cold winters, mild summers, and a large diurnal temperature variation. Its mean annual temperature is approximately a 5 to 8 AA degree Celsius, with January temperatures ranging from 18 to a 7 AA degree Celsius and July temperatures ranging from 15 to 21 AA degree Celsius. It is also prone to heavy winds as well as sandstorms from February to April. Significant rainfall occurs mainly in summer, while precipitation is very low in winter and spring, and is generally low enough to keep much of the province semi-arid or arid. By area, Kangai is the largest province in the People's Republic of China. Kangai Lake is the largest saltwater lake in China, and the second largest in the world. The Kiedam Basin lies in the northwest part of the province. About a third of this resource-rich basin is desert. The basin has an altitude between 3,000 to 3,500 meters. The Sanjiang Yuan National Nature Reserve is located in Kangai and contains the headwaters of the Yellow River, Yangtze River, and Mekong River. The reserve was established to protect the headwaters of these three rivers and consists of 18 sub-areas, each containing three zones which are managed with differing degrees of strictness. Politics. Administrative divisions. Because the Han form Kangai's ethnic majority, and because none of its many ethnic minorities have clear dominance over the rest, the province is not administered as an autonomous region. Instead, the province has many ethnic autonomous areas at the district and county levels. Kangai is administratively divided into eight prefecture level divisions, two prefecture level cities, and six autonomous prefectures. All of these are in turn divided into five districts, two county-level cities, 29 counties, and seven autonomous counties. Economy Kangai's economy is amongst the smallest in all of China. Its nominal GDP for 2011 was just 163.4 billion RMB and contributes to about 0.35% of the entire country's economy. Per capita GDP was 19,407 RMB the second lowest in China. Its heavy industry includes iron and steel production, located near its capital city of Xining. Oil and natural gas from the Kiedam Basin have also been an important contributor to the economy. Salt works operate at many of the province's numerous salt lakes. Outside of the provincial capital, Xining, 
most of Kangai remains underdeveloped. Kangai ranks second lowest in China in terms of highway length, and will require a significant expansion of its infrastructure to capitalize on the economic potential of its rich natural resources. Economic and Technological Development Zones Xining Economic and Technological Development Zone Xining Economic and Technological Development Zone was approved as state-level development zone in July 2000. It has a planned area of 4.4 square kilometers. XETDZ lies in the east of Xining, 5 kilometers away from downtown. Located in the east of the province, Xining stands at the upper reaches of the Huangshui River one of the Yellow River's branches. The city is surrounded by the mountains with an average elevation of 2261 meters and the highest at 4393 meters. Xining Economic and Technological Development Zone is the first of its kind at the national level on the Kangai Tibet Plateau. It is established to fulfill the nation's strategy of developing the West. XETDZ enjoys a convenient transportation system, connected by the Xining Lands Expressway and run through by two main roads, the broadest roads of the city. It is 4 kilometers away from the railway station, 15 kilometers from Xining Airport, a grade 4D airport with 14 airlines to other cities such as Beijing, Guangzhou, Shanghai, Shenzhen, Xi'an. Xining is Kangai Province's passage to the outside world, a transportation center with more than 10 highways, over 100 roads and two railways, Lanzha Kangai and Kangai Tibet railways in and out of the city. It focuses on the development of following industries, chemicals based on salt lake resources, non-ferrous metals, and petroleum and natural gas processing. Special medicine, foods and biochemicals using local plateau animals and plants. New products involving ecological and environmental protection, high technology, new materials as well as information technology. And services such as logistics, banking, real estate, tourism, hotel, catering, agency and international trade. Demographics There are over 37 recognized ethnic groups among Kingai's population of 5.2 million, with national minorities making up 46.5% of the population. The demographic mix is similar to Gansu province, with Han, Hui, Tibetans, Tu, Mongols, and sailors being the most populous groups. Han Chinese predominate in the cities of Xining, Heidong, Delhi and Gomud, and elsewhere in the northeast. The Hui are concentrated in Xining, Heidong, Mayan County, Hualong County, and Daitong County. The Tu people predominate in Hutsu County and the sailors in Zunhua County. Tibetans and Mongols are sparsely distributed across the rural western part of the province. Of the Muslim ethnic groups in China, Kangai has communities of Hui, Sailor, Dungsang, and Berwin. Both the indigenous Han and Tibetan people in Qinghai differ from their co-ethnics outside of the province. The Han and Qinghai are more devoutly Buddhist and influenced by Tibetan customs, while the Tibetans may not speak Tibetan and are more integrated into mainstream Chinese culture. Qinghai Tibetans regard themselves as distinct from Tibetans in the Tibet Autonomous Region, and celebrate their region's unbroken independence from Lhasa's control since the fall of the Tubo Empire. Culture Qinghai has been influenced by the interactions between Mongol and Tibetan culture, north to south, and Han Chinese and Inner Asia Muslim culture, east to west. The languages of Qinghai have for centuries formed a Sprachbund, with Zongi Yuan Mandarin, Amdo Tibetan, Sela, Yaga, and Monga borrowing from and influencing one another. In mainstream Chinese culture, Kangai is most associated with the tale of King Mu, son of heaven. According to this legend, King Mu of Zhou pursued hostile Quanrong nomads to eastern Kangai, where the goddess Sai Wang threw the king a banquet in the Kunlun Mountains. The main religions in Kangai are Tibetan Buddhism and Islam. The Dingguan Mosque has been continuously operating since 1380. Measures of education in Kangai are low, particularly among the Muslim ethnic groups such as the Hui and Sela, who sometimes prefer to send their children to madrasas rather than secular schools. The Yak, which is native to Kangai, is widely used in the province for transportation and its meat. The Mongols of Kangai celebrate the Nordam festival on the Kirdam Basin every year. Transportation The Lanking Railway, running between Lanzhua, Gansu and Xining 
the province's capital, was completed in 1959 and is the major transportation route in and out of the province. A continuation of the line, the Kangai Tibet Railway via Gomud and Western Kangai, has become one of the most ambitious projects in PRC history. It was completed in October 2005 and now links Tibet with the rest of China through Kangai. Construction on the Gomuda Euro Dunhuang Railway, in the province's northwestern part, started in 2012. Six national highways run through the province. Xining Korjapu Airport provides service to Beijing, Lanzha, Golmud and Dalinga. Smaller regional airports, such as Golmud Airport and Yashu Beitang Airport, serve some of the local centers of the far-flung province. Plans exist for the construction of three more by 2020. Telecommunications Since the Ministry of Information Industry began its access to telephones project, Kangai has invested 640 million yuan to provide telephone access to 3860 out of its 4133 administrative villages. At the end of 2006, 299 towns had received Internet access. However, 6.6% of villages in the region still have no access to the telephone. These villages are mainly scattered in Kunan area, with 90% of them located in Yashu and Guiluo. The average altitude of these areas exceeds 3,600 meters, and the poor natural conditions hamper the establishment of telecommunication facilities in the region. Satellite phones have been provided to 186 remote villages in Kangai Province as of September 14, 2007. The areas benefited were Yashu Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture and Guiluo Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture. Kangai has recently been provided with satellite telephone access. In June 2007, China Satcom carried out an in-depth survey in Yashu and Guiluo, and made a special satellite phones for these areas. Two phones were provided to each village for free, and calls were charged at the rate of 0.2 yuan per minute for both local and national calls, with the extra charges assumed by China Satcom. No monthly rent was charged on the satellite phone. International calls were also available. Tourism. Many tourist attractions center on Xining, the provincial seat of Qinghai. During the hot summer months, many tourists from the hot southern and eastern parts of China travel to Xining, as the climate of Xining in July and August is quite mild and comfortable, making the city an ideal summer retreat. Qinghai Lake is another tourist attraction, albeit further from Xining than Kumba Monastery. The lake is the largest saltwater lake in China, and is also located on the roof of the world. The Tibetan Plateau. The lake itself lies at 3,600 m elevation. The surrounding area is made up of rolling grasslands and populated by ethnic Tibetans. Most pre arranged tours stop at Bird Island. An international bicycle race takes place annually from Xining to Kangai Lake. Colleges and universities Kangai University, Kangai Normal University, Kangai Nationalities University. Kangai Radio and Television University, also see list of universities and colleges in Kangai, see also, 2010 Yashu Earthquake, major national historical and cultural sites in Kangai, Jeladandong, Haplo Group DM15, Haplo Group 03, Tectonic Summary of Kangai, References. Economic Profile for Kangai at HKTDC, External Links, Official Website, Chinese. Memorials from Kangai from the 19th century.